All right, guys, this video is going to be about what sold this past week for me on Depop, Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. I actually was starting to make some more sales on Depop and Mercari, so I'm going to share my sales and some tips along the way to help you in your reselling business, hopefully to make more money this year. So if that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up and a comment, and let's get right into it. Okay, we're gonna try something new here. I'm going to try to screen record and show you my sales because I think it'll be an easier way for you guys to see kind of what I have going on on my um, pages and it'll help you see tags better, I think, and things like that. So we're gonna start here on my Depop page. So as you can see up top there, my sales, I sold 10 items this week on Depop, which is more than I've ever sold also. Um, also my revenue is up from March 29th to April 5th. I think the reason is, is that I'm boosting listings. So after you list an item on Depop, you can choose to boost it, which is kind of like promoting it on eBay. It is going to take a small fee. I don't remember exactly what it is. I'll have to look it up. Um, but it's supposed to help it to get seen more and get more clicks and likes or whatever. So that's what I've been doing. So I guess it's helping. We'll see in the long run if this continues to go on. But um, like right here, it shows the sales like this one, like that was boosted. So it was apparently sold from that. So I'm going to go ahead and go through our sales here on Depop. Let me know if you sell on Depop, if you've used this boosting method, if it seems to work for you or whatever. So, okay, um, I have four things to ship. So let's go ahead and see here. The first thing I have is this Kate Spade purse. And I'm trying to figure out if I can actually click on it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this Kate Spade purse is a burgundy small leather purse. It did have some wear. I got it at a local thrift store for I think $9.99. Um, kind of you can see some wear in the brass there. I was picking it up because I haven't been getting purses that much anymore since I stopped getting thread up mystery boxes as much. This did, as you can see right down here in the boosting stats, it said it get 55% more views from boosting. Is that true? I mean, I guess so. Um, so this sold for $30. I had listed for 30. They sent me an offer of 30. So, or I had it listed for 40. They sent me an offer of 30. So that's good. I'm going to have to figure out like how I want to move myself around here and do all of this. So bear with me. Okay. Next up are these pair of double H boots. This is a good Western brand to be on the lookout for, for boots. I don't know if they really make anything else. I've sold it a couple times before. You can see the logo right here in the boots. Um, these did sell for $75, which I think was an offer that they sent me, which I accepted. They did have some wear. You can see some spots here on the toes. I did use my Doc Martens leather balsam, which is linked down below in my description if you guys want to get some for your leather things. But I think sometimes people who are like cowboys and Western and stuff like that, like they really don't care. Um, they were the lacer style. So it said the style right there, which was really nice. They were kind of like a mid-rise Um lace up pair of boots and so that was a pretty good sale for me on depop especially because i think they only take out 10 percent next up are these pair of dance go shoes these were a pair of black leather size seven um just slip on clogs for some reason i have noticed that my dance goes sell good on depop i've sold quite a few pair there um these did sell an offer of 28 dollars, which is what i sent out to them um let's see the buyer did ask me if they are a true size six or six and a half because when I went on the Dansko website, that's what they um, said. Although I have these listed as a size 37. Um, I guess in the Dansko website, it says maybe like six and a half. I don't know. I just told her they weren't mine personally when people ask me questions like that. And I just let them know that like, this is what it says on the Dansko website. They were like, okay, great. Thank you. And so they went ahead and bought them. So here's the style number right here. If you're ever looking up for dance goes, you can find exactly what they're called. Or if you have a Google lens, that works really well too. Next up are these Miss Me shorts. These were in a size 28. They did have this interesting, kind of reminds me of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper actually. If you guys are Haunted Mansion fans, you know what I mean. Um, that's a ride at Disney, by the way. Uh, size 28, Miss Me shorts seem to sell quicker for me than the jeans. At least they have been the last few months. These sold for $24 off of an offer. I always have pictures of my measurements that I take and put right in there, my little janky dry erase board. Um, and then here's the style. So that was a pretty quick sale. I think they sold within a few weeks. Um, last week, if you didn't watch, I did um, list some rock revivals that sold extremely quickly. 
Next up are these Manolo Blahniks. So these were kind of beat. I think these came in a Thread Up Designer Rescue Box. Um, I had them listed for 80. Someone sent me a message and asked me if I would accept 60. And I said yes, because of the condition. She did have a issue with she lived in Canada. And normally I don't have worldwide shipping on Depop. But since she asked me to, I did. And then I just charged my own price. I charged her $25 a ship. And that's about how much they cost to ship. So <laughs> glad that I went up that high. Um, and hopefully we don't have any issues with that. The label did come out a little bit different. I tried to use some things to like clean up the footbed, but I kind of had a hard time. So I sold them as is, but of course when you're wearing them, it doesn't really matter. So that was a pretty good sale. Next up, we have this vintage Mickey Mouse shirt. So if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Disney, especially vintage Disney clothing. So this was by the brand Mickey Unlimited. It was a plus size. Here's the cute little mouse in the chest. Um, here's the Mickey Unlimited tag. Now, not everything from this is going to sell that good or for that much, but I'm a sucker for vintage Disney. Um, plus size also does seem to do better. It's kind of had a blue thermal look that sold for $20. Next up is this Figs shirt. So on this one, this did sell, it says it's boosted here. Um, this is just my listing price. I actually sold it for $16.30. That was an offer. I think I got a like on it and I sent the lowest offer I could. Well, according to the three that they have up there. I just am not picking up Figs that much anymore because it's just not selling that great for me. So size extra small, it did sell. Glad to get that shipped out. Next up was this vintage Cabela sweater. If you watched my Instagram, I posted on there. It had tons of likes. I don't know if it shows at this point how many likes it had, but I think almost 70. Um, this was just from Cabela's, but it had this cute little horse um, embroidery on it. It wasn't a size large. I used ecle Eclectic Grandpa, thanks to somebody's comment that told me to. Um, normally I would not pick up Cabela's, but $28 sale there. Next up is a pair of Devon Air riding equestrian pants. So I got these because I know that it is the time of the year for equestrian type of stuff. And normally I've been trying to pick up stuff that I can list for $35 or higher. But I feel like with spring, summer, if I want to keep my store going, I'm going to have to like settle for that a little bit. I don't know. Like I'm getting shorts that I'm listing for $25. I listed these for $25. I just feel like there's some things that's harder to sell for a higher profit in the summer. So these did sell for, I'm looking over at my phone because on here it's not showing my selling price. They sold for $21.30 um, really quickly. So riding breeches usually have that little um, thing in the middle. That's what it looks like. I don't know if this is really worth that much to pick up. I did sell a pair of carrots with a K um, as well. They're a women's size 26. And then one more sale in Depop. And I sold this soft surroundings dress. This was new with tags. I got this at a thrift world. I paid $15 for it. They had it listed on their own website with really horrible pictures. So <laughs> glad to pick it up and sell it. It's so pretty. This was getting lots of attention on Depop. It ended up selling for an offer of $45. I probably could have got a little bit more, but I accepted this on one of my slow days because I'm still trying to like make some money. So I was still glad to move it really pretty like flowy type top. Soft surroundings is the style number is always right here. So it's really easy to find. And that is it on Depop. So let's go on to Mercari. Okay, Mercari, I sold this Storybook Knits sweater really quickly. I actually just picked this up at the thrift store. Um, Storybook Knits does have, here's the tag. So it looks like a little house. It always has really interesting pictures. So this one has, as you can see, these little horses and it's like, oh, they're so cute. Like a carousel, um, size two X that sold for my full asking price of $35. That is with free shipping. That gives me $35 though. So I started listing my items a little bit cheaper this week since Mercari is not taking out any fees anymore. I did a video on that last week if you want to watch it to see what that's all about. But so before, like I would have wanted to list this for 35 and then I would have added on $10 for shipping. But since they're not charging me fees anymore, I'm not adding on that extra amount I would have for shipping. Seems to be working. I'm making some sales. So um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know how Mercari is going for you guys. Next up is this Noble Sports Bra. This sold really fast. This I got at a local Goodwill. I was like, okay, I've sold, no I've sold Noble in shoes before and they do pretty good. Let's try out the sports bra. Sold for $22.50, women's size large, sold almost immediately. So 
Um, kind of can't see the logo too well there. That's what the tag looks like, size large. And then here's the model picture. So that was a nice quick sale. This Lululemon shirt also sold quickly. This is a Lululemon Swiftly Tech short sleeve shirt. This came out on a new rack with another um, short sleeve Swiftly and a long sleeve Swiftly. I find that these still sell pretty fast, but some of the leggings and some of the other types of shirts don't sell as good. And on these, they usually have the size inside here. It's right here, size 12. So that was also a great size, I think, which definitely helped it to sell quickly. So I might use a model picture on other websites besides Poshmark. I just don't put it as my first one because I find that sometimes they can get flagged. Okay, um, next is this Disney Park sweatshirt. This is a double-sided size 2X Disney Park sweatshirt. I sold for $30. Um, how you can tell it's Disney Park is that it has the little castle right here. So this says Disneyland, Walt Disney World by Hanes. I guess it says both. Um, 2XL and then the back had the Mickey head. That was not listed very long, so that sold really quickly. Glad about that. Next up was a Lululemon scuba hoodie. This was definitely an older style. In the color green, I could not find a size, so I just estimated that it is a size six. Um, full zip. I actually had somebody buy this before on Mercari, and then they canceled right away, I think because they ended up seeing all of the extra fees that they had to pay, which kind of sucks, but I went ahead and just got it relisted. So $36.45 on that. Um, and then I sold these Fox racing pants. This, this is a brand like good for like uh, motocross or dirt bike and stuff like that. My husband used to do motocross and dirt bike when I first actually saw him before I met him when he was working at the YMCA. He was on crutches because he got in an accident and got his knee ran over. And so now he has metal in his knee. Anyway, these sold for $36. Um, they were a smaller size. They were a men's 28. They were a little bit rough and beat up but that's okay because they're going to be anyway when somebody uses them. So um, I would say a good time to be looking out for items like this with dirt bike season coming upon us. And then the last thing I sold here on Mercari was this J. Jill window pane check sweater in a women's size large. This sold for $40.50. Um, black, I got this off of a new rack. This did sell probably in about two months. Um, I was just thinking since it was new with tags and a larger size, it also has this wherever collection, which seems to be kind of popular with people on, or that um, wear J. Jill. So let's go on to eBay next, and we will see what we have here. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you like this. I'm really gonna be trying to do some different things on my YouTube channel coming up here in the future because I feel like I need to. <laughs> I feel like if I don't, people are gonna get bored. My channel is going to get like stagnant <laughs> and I want it to continue to grow. So um, let's see, eBay. So these are items I have to ship. I have six items right now to ship, $186. I did have some items that sold yesterday on eBay. So this is not a full 24 hours. I just keep packaging things up as long as the mailman hasn't come yet if I'm home and put them out on the porch. So this is what I've had since yesterday, probably around 11. Um, the day before that was really good. So first up is this Catherine shirt. This sold for $20 and you can see right here, it sold with an extra 20% off coupon, which I always have running. And so this is a 1X um, WP, 1X Women's Petite. It did have this cute little summer print. Catherine's is not a really good like a high dollar seller, but it is a good bread and butter. So I do go ahead and pick it up in certain styles, especially depending on like right now, if I'm looking for things for spring, summer, I'm gonna start picking up some stuff like that more. But if I'm going to my model where I'm looking for things 35 or higher, like once it gets fall, winter, I don't think I'll have to pick that stuff up as much because there's more items that I can get and I could like in season, I won't have to worry about trying to pick up so many lightweight shirts and shorts and things like that. Okay, next up was a Roar shirt. This was a women's size, extra small, multicolor. This is kind of a very like Y2K style. I feel like it was plaid. I did put Western and Rodeo in my keywords. This did sell via promoted listing. So you can see right here. Right now I'm promoting everything at 5%. It sold for $20. So let me just show you kind of what the tag looks like. I don't pick this up as much as I used to because I don't feel like it sells as quickly as it used to. It did have this style name right here, the Spirited 2. 
and I was able to find a stock photo. Again, I just used those at the end. Um, next up are a pair of Madewell shorts. These sold for $30 with a 20% off promotion. Whoops, I am not going to be shipping this. Why did I do that? Um, I meant to click on the listing. Here we go. Okay, $30 with a 20% off coupon. Um, size 28, these are the ones that I talked about possibly trying on. I never did. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna sell them. So they were high rise, mid-length denim shorts. Madewell always tells you the style. I don't pick up Madewell that much anymore. These were from spring of 2020. And I just don't because it doesn't sell that good for me. But these sold fast. So I guess I would say look up your style and figure out if you think it's going to be worth it. Um, next up, we have a pair of Adidas men's pants. These came from one of Ryan's bins when I first, I was like, I'm just going to list everything from his bins. And then I started listing them and I'm like, this stuff isn't that good. So um, they sold for $14, size 33. They were plaid. They did sell with promoted listings, I think. Maybe the coupon, I'll check when I go back, 33 by 32. I would not recommend picking up men's Adidas golf pants unless maybe they're a really cool style, but I do not think that these ones were. Yeah, that did sell with a 20% off coupon. So um, next are a pair of Gudrun Shodan pants. If that's how you say that, I always forget. Um, women's size extra large sold with promoted listings for $47. That was an offer they sent me, which was amazing. They could have used a 20% off coupon and saved even more, but they, I mean, yeah, they could have done that instead of just sending me an offer. They chose not to, obviously that's fine with me. Here's what the tag looks like, um, kind of hard to read. So once you know it though, you will know it. it's kind of like a lag and look type brand. And then right after I sold this, someone messaged me on Poshmark and they were like, oh, are these still available? Cause I marked them not for sale. And I was like, sorry, they just sold. Okay, next up is a Talbot's jacket, sold for $19, sold via promoted listings. This is a women's size 10 jacket. It has this madras, madras plaid. I think that's what this is called. Um, I got this a little while back, just thinking it was a cool style. I was kind of experimenting with Talbot's a little bit. Um, polyester cotton blend. If it was linen, maybe it would have sold for more, but happy to move that. As you can see, this is on a 40% off sale right now. So I do run a markdown sale depending on how long I've had the item. So that's the stuff I need to ship, but let me just go ahead and show you the other things that I've sold this week. Okay, first up are these pair of Fit Flop sandals. These were women's size nine, brown leather wedge sandals. Fit Flop is a good comfort sandal brand. I sell these obviously more in the spring, summer. These ones were in pretty good condition. I have been trying to leave behind ones that are like pretty worn and they have a style number right in there and the size. So super easy to look that up. If I didn't say those sold for promoted listings for $25. Um, next up a pair of democracy jeans. I posted a couple of TikToks or Instagram reels and stuff like that. People are asking, do you still sell democracy jeans? Yes. These sold for $35 with a 20% off coupon. So 35, I pretty much list all of my democracy jeans at 35. I think one time I listed a pair of high rise flares for 40. Um, I do look for this ab technology or ab solution under the tag. There's a style number here, but it never pulls anything up, at least for me. Um, so dark wash, high rise, skinny, and a size 14. It's a great sale. Next up, a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. These were a size small. I don't usually get the smaller sizes, unless they have some special stuff going on for them. These ones kind of didn't, they were old. They sold for $20 with a 20% off coupon. Um, I think they were in a markdown sale. Let me see, it probably will tell me when I get to the listing. Yes, these were 30, or these were originally 35. They were at a 50% off sale, which are things that I've had, I think for nine months or more. So probably would think about that again. If I got these, I probably wouldn't actually. If they were in a larger size, I would. Um, but just the smaller sizes in Eileen Fisher doesn't do as good depending on the material. If they were linen, I think they would have done better. And then next up is this IC by Connie K jacket. This sold for $40 with a 20% off coupon. So IC by Connie K is a good brand to be on the lookout for. It always sells really well for me. I hardly ever have a sit. Like that's never something that goes into my markdown sale because it never lasts that long. Tan, oversized. Um, relaxed lag and look always has interesting buttons. There's the tag. This one was just a polyester and then also had those same kind of like buttons on the back. So really interesting piece. I would recommend picking up IC by Connie K. Uh, we have a pair of Toad & Co pants. 
This is a good outdoor brand, Toad & Co. Um, hiking Trail, Granola Girl, Gorp Core. That is all keywords that I've been using with all of my outdoor and hiking stuff. Uh, these are a size large. They were just a pull-on pair of hemp and a Lyocell blend pants. So great minimalist style. I really like those. So that was a nice sale. Next up was this new with tags Nike men's shirt. For some reason, I thought this could have been a women's at first. I don't know. Or I thought maybe it would do better. It only sold for $19 in an offer with promoted listings. I was glad to sell it though, because I think I this was something that I was like grabbing quickly at the thrift store and I didn't look up the sell-through rate and the sell-through rate was not that good. So I was like, anytime I am going to get an offer for this, if it's decent, I am definitely taking it. So I was glad to get that out fairly quickly since I didn't do a good job of looking up the sell-through rate. Next up, we have a Land's End vest. If you guys do these kind of videos, when I'm clicking on something, it's popping me away from the screen. <laughs> like, I don't even know if you care about that. If you do, let me know if there's a way where I can always keep myself on the screen. I'm just using this in QuickTime Player, but it's my first time, so I'm not the best at tech. We're just trying to get this all figured out. This was a Land's End puffer vest. This sold for $25. It wasn't a size extra large. It was down-filled. Um, and the vest for a few weeks there, they were selling like a few a week. Now it has slowed down, maybe because it's starting to get a little bit more warm. I do look for the ones that are downfilled because they tend to do better. Um, next up is the normal brand. I heard this from Marcus at Dixon's Pickens, but it hasn't, I've sold it like decent with a men's one. This is a women's, so maybe it doesn't do as good in women's. This only sold for $13. I picked it up a while ago to try it out. It is a size extra large. Also, it possibly couldn't have been selling because it was out of season. So um, Hawaiian type brand, or not Hawaiian brand, Hawaiian type print. That's what the tag looks like. So that's okay with me. I'm glad to move out to the older item. I sold these Sorel shoes pretty quickly. So glad to sell these. These were women's size six. These ones sold for $40. And I think this is one of the first sales. Oh no, this one wasn't either. That was a markdown. Um, that's just a straight sale with no promoted listings, no coupon. So that's good because that means I'm not going to get other fees taken out. So size six or $40. They do, I guess, tie underneath. I was trying to figure that out. I did not end up washing these. Um, so yeah, but I don't feel like they needed it that much and they still sold super fast. So definitely happy about that. I love a quick sale. Next up was a mistake on my part. I sold these Miss Me shorts. I got them home and I realized they were missing the button. So that was dumb. They sold for $15 with a 20% off coupon. Um, I was like, but they still sold in like a couple of hours. So I guess people just really want the Miss Me shorts. Um, oh no, at least chasing the cat. And anyway, um, size 29 denim, Y2K, low rise. I don't know. I mean, I still made money on them, kind of crazy. Um, next up was a Talbot's shirt in a plus size. I was trying to pick up a lot of different Talbot's plus size to see how it would do. Not as good or not everything does as good. So this one was just a one X, uh, black and white striped top. It sold for $16 and it was new with tags. So I think it's just because it was nothing really that special. It was just cotton. It would have been like a linen or a wool, maybe a more substantial piece, like a blazer or a coat. Maybe it would have done better. Um, next is this brand, John Mark, and thank you, thank you for the Instagram viewer and possibly YouTube viewer, washer, subscriber, what do you call you guys, what do you guys call yourself? Um, they told me about this brand. It sold for me a couple of times now. This one sold very quickly before I could even get it cross-listed at $31. I was possibly going to try to get more, but I was like, I'd rather take this now with the quick sale. Did sell promoted listings. This was in a 1X, which is a great size. Here's what the tag looks like. Actually, I just estimated it was a 1X because the size was ripped out, um, but really pretty design on this one with these buttons, just a rayon blend, but like nice multimedia print on that. Next up was a Free People sweater. So this was really cute, actually a sweatshirt. Um, sold for $32. This was a, a size large, which is also excellent for Free People. If I see free people in a large or extra large, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out because most of the time it sells way better. Pink and yellow striped, very oversized, very summery. So really excited to grab that. Another IC by Connie K jacket. This one sold for $30. Uh, black and white, it was very like a mesh pattern in a size medium. This was open. 
um, sheer art to wear. I usually put that a lot in Icy by Connie K. So that was a nice quick sale there. Next up was a Vince sweater. So I had this listed for I think 55 or 60, but it's really going to be getting out of sweater season. And I was like, I don't want to keep this forever. So $35, I accepted an offer size large. It was a tan wool cashmere sweater. It was oversized. It had this nice ribbing to it. I don't pick up all vents. I actually hardly pick up any vents, but some things like this with a wool cashmere, really good material. I will go ahead and grab. Also, that was kind of a newer style. So I was like, okay, I think this will be worth it. And it was. Um, next up was another Talbot's plus size. This was in a size 2X. And what is going on? Oh, okay. I'll look at that in a minute. Um, 2X multicolor paisley wrap top. This sold for $15. Again, experimenting with Talbot's plus size cotton modal blend. Just not a substantial enough piece to make much money off of but glad to get it shipped out. What I was questioning here was this eBay note. If your item passes inspection, it will be sent to the buyer. If not, it will be returned. So this is a Burberry coat that I got from a thread up designer box. I'm guessing that it says it's shipped to the authenticator on April 2nd. So I know that they did this before oddly with some on clouds that I sold, which I thought was weird because are those even faked? Maybe. Um, this is a Burberry coat that sold for $137. It did have a couple of stains that I could not get out. The buyer messaged me. She did offer a little bit lower at first. Here's some of the spots right here. Um, and then she sent me a message and she just said, this is all I can afford right now with the stains. And then there's some more in the back. And I was like, you know what? For $137, um, I will take it with that box. That pays for almost my whole box. So I was glad to sell it for that. As you can see, I had it listed pretty high to begin with but I wasn't getting much attention. I think I was just actually, I don't know. I was going too high. It wasn't worth that much with the stains. Um, next up are these men's Olakai sandals that sold for $25 really fast. Olakai is definitely more of a spring summer brand. I've had it before in like the winter and fall and it doesn't seem to sell as good. So these ones were like a little bit worn, but I've been selling a couple of their like slip on style shoes, like pretty quickly. That's their logo right there. That hook. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try the flip-flops and there's a style number or a style name right there. So it makes it really easy to look up comps. So I was glad about that. Next up, we have an Everlane sweater in a size large. This sold for $32 via promoted listings. Everlane, I am passing on a lot, but certain pieces like 100% cashmere, I'm definitely not going to pass on. So that was a nice sale. I probably had that for three to four months. Um, for some reason, every time I sell high top Chuck Taylor Converse, especially for men, they seem to sell really fast right around this $30 mark. And that's what these ones sold for $30 with a 20% off coupon. Um, these were a size 10. I did put these through the wash um, and I got them fairly clean. They did still have a little bit of separation there by the toe, but that didn't seem to matter. Also, I washed Grace's white on clouds recently. I soaked them in a tub with OxyClean and Dawn. And then I only put them through the wash. I didn't dry them. And she said they still felt like they shrunk a little bit. So can they shrink in just the wash? I don't know. I feel bad. And I'm like, okay, I need to figure this out. Um, next up is an Ivy Fisher silk shirt. I sold this very fast. This sold for $40 with a 20% off coupon. So if they use the coupon, that's most likely off of my listing price. This was a size medium gray silk with an organic cotton blend, uh, very boxy. Like I said, I did not have this very long and it sold really quickly. Next up, we have a pair of Athleta pants and these were uh, the Brooklyn ankle, which was my, one of my favorite styles. They were in a size four petite. Um, the Brooklyn ankle, you can tell because of that ribbed striped in the side right there. Also in some of the newer ones, they will say it. Um, size four petite, these sold for $35, I think. Um, excellent price on those. Let me double check on that with a 20% off coupon. Okay. Um, next up, really great sale. This is a new with tags, Eileen Fisher hooded cardigan. It kind of was like a Jersey type feel. I had this listed for 130. Somebody paid, I was going to say full price, but they used the 20% off coupon. Um, but excellent piece here. So obviously this is something I would pay up for. I think I paid $30 for this. It retailed for $198 size, small organic cotton, um, I had pockets, so excellent size or excellent style, minimalist, long line, things like that. 
So that was a really good sale. I'm happy about that because I actually have had some crappy returns this week because of fit. I did start putting in my listings um, on the top of my description, like, please check all measurements to avoid returns for fit. I don't know if that's really going to help because I know some people don't read the descriptions. So we'll see about that. But I, I know that I want to accept returns on eBay. So I've been listening to tech and sports channel so much lately, and he's the best eBay reseller of literally all time. Like for real, when he was like at his prime, he had the statistics to prove that. And he just talks a lot about putting your customers first and not yourself. And so I'm kind of trying to go in that mindset, which makes sense because sometimes his resellers were like, no, you can't return this because it doesn't fit you. I want to get the money. It's like, come on. Like if I bought a pair of jeans, okay, because for me, pants are super hard to buy because my legs are really long. If I bought a pot of bear jeans and then I tried to return them because they didn't fit and they just told me no, like that's kind of messed up. So what, I'm just stuck with these jeans. Like you can return literally everywhere else you shop. Amazon, Target, Walmart, like pretty much all websites, like everywhere. So I have gotten to the point where I don't let returns bother me anymore. If somebody wants to return it for fit, that's fine. If I do notice the same buyer keeps doing this to me, you can block them. But I wouldn't block it for just one time because, I mean, why? If we want to do better in our business, I think we need to take care of our customers. We need to stop being selfish and greedy and like <laughs> so worried about ourselves and take care of our customers. And then I think our business will be better. Okay, next up anyway, that's my little like, rant about that. Um, soft surrounding shirt in a size large. This was only sold for $15 and it was my fault because it had a stain on it, which is really sad. It was, um, new with tags size large. It was linen, had a spot right there. Another spot right there. How did I miss it? The thrift store? We don't know. I must not have been paying attention. I made a little bit of money on that. That's okay. Next up was an Eileen Fisher organic linen top. This sold for $33. It was a very light, like dusty pink color, um, just a round neck top. The linen is still selling really well for me right now. So a nice sale there for that Eileen. Um, this is getting returned, I think. Yes, so the CP Shades got returned for fit or is getting returned for fit. It sold for $50. Not really worried about that because CP Shades linen sells really good. So I'll just show you anyway what the tag looks like. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. I'm putting, um, let me see if it shows, oh, it doesn't show my description here. It just shows the condition. So anyway, I'll sell that again. No big deal. Uh, this sale was really exciting. Eileen Fisher pants. I got these because I was like, oh, I'm going to try these on. Why do I think I can wear pants that don't say tall or long? These sold for a hundred dollars with a 20% off coupon. Um, somebody did ask me, why didn't you put the style name of them? Because I kind of had this theory that I talked about in my previous video that if you put the certain style name of some things, somebody can really easily, a shopper, search that style name and they can go ahead and find the item somewhere else cheaper. So it depends on the item that I will choose whether or not I want to do that. With this, I decided not to. I put medium cream. Actually, I think these were called the woven high rise. Actually, I think this was the style name. What I haven't done it before is on free people uh, recently. I think that was the actual style name. So these are so cute. They were used and they still sold for $100 with the coupon. So that's insane. Not all Lululemon is dead because some people really don't like to pick up a lot of Lululemon these days. Uh, a Burton vest. So another vest that sold for $35. This was a women's size medium green snowboard ski type brand outdoor. It was a puffer vest. This did have, um, let's see, did it have down filling? insulation. Yeah, I think, why am I looking at this so long? hundred percent nylon outer shell insulation polyester. Okay. It didn't. Um, and then we don't know what that logo is. Maybe some kind of bird. So that was okay. This is an exclusively Masook skirt. The skirts don't sell as good for me as like the blazers or the dresses or the tops sold for $20. This was in a size petite medium. Um, just your basic black skirt, nothing special acrylic, like pretty much all of sook. So glad to get that sold. Next up is a pair of Eileen Fisher pants in a size extra small. I sold these really quickly. These ones sold for $45. They were a size, I already said the size. They were a cashmere merino wool blend, um, high rise. They did have pockets. These felt like they were like new. So a really nice soft pair. It could be like loungy type pants. So glad for the quick Eileen sale. Next up was another Eileen Fisher. 
one of my favorite brands to sell. This one sold for $35 with a 20% off coupon. It was a purple um, petite small sweater. This was 100% linen, so petite small. You can see right here, linen cotton blend. It was a shorter style, but somebody still wanted it, so happy to make that quick sale on the Eileen. This is a swimsuit brand I've never heard of before, Andy. This sold for $40. I decided to look it up at the thrift store just because I've never seen the tag. It looked interesting. It wasn't a size extra, extra large, um, which also I was like, okay, a great size. So there's the tag there. And yeah, pretty quickly, I've been selling swimsuits so good this week. So be on the lookout for good swimsuit brands. Here's another one. This is an Ann Cole swimsuit. This was new with tags. This sold for $32 blue and white striped one piece. Here's her little tag on the back um, in a size 20. So plus size originally retailed for $120. I don't know. They just don't resell super good, but I mean, that's still a good price for what I paid for it because I paid like six to $7 for it. Um, next up on April Fool's, I sold these Judy Blue jeans. I love selling Judy Blue. These were new with tags. They sold for $44. Size 24. They were a high rise crop stretch in a classic just medium wash so judy blue is one of my favorite jean brands to resell another bikini by ann cole um so that could be a good swimsuit brand for you guys to be on the lookout for this sold really fast for 28 dollars um i got it just because of the brand and i knew that swimsuits are going to be selling really good right now and they are i ended up finding a model picture i was able to use there in the bottom helps a little bit for some people, we're seeing how it's going to fit. Next up, we have a Catherine's dress that sold for $24.50. This was a women's size 3X, um, rose print, floral, wrap style dress, probably a midi length. So pretty decent sale there. We have a Barefoot Dreams robe. I'm hardly ever picking up Barefoot Dreams anymore because at least for the cardigans, Maybe the larger sizes, but a lot of stuff just sits for so long. But this sold for $40 in an offer, so I was happy about that. It said Embrace Inner Beauty on it. Um, so I guess if there's other things besides, also a really good size here. Um, I don't know what size for. I don't remember what that equals to. I just have plus size in my title. But the robe, I've seen some pants can do kind of good, but I haven't had luck with them. I still have some listed, so I don't know about that. Um, next up is another pair of Judy Blue jeans. These have been sold for $30. These were a pair of pull-on style, which I hardly ever find. They were in a size 30 or 11. I always put the size 30. The style is usually right there. It says that's the slim boot. Those sold extremely quickly, which is great. A lot of my Judy Blue sells quickly. Next up was an Eileen Fisher tank top, sold for $25. This was a size medium. It was gray. 100% silk, which sells great for Eileen Fisher, even in the smaller sizes. It had this drapey detail on the back. So nice sale there. This was a new with tags Lululemon shirt that sold for only $30. And it was um, sold for that little because I think it had a stain on it. It also only retailed for $58, so not that much. Here's the stain. Okay, it wasn't that high. But I've actually probably had this. Yeah, I've had it for at least three months because it's 30% off. So I'm going to go in again. I think tomorrow I'm going to go through that markdown sale again. I'm trying to do it once a month to go ahead and just put things. Once it gets to 90 days, I'm marking it 30% off. And then the longer I've had it, the more it gets marked down. Um, next up was a Ming Wang jacket. This is an excellent sale. Sold for $85 with my 20% off coupon. This was new with tags. I got this at a clothes mentor. Um, actually, it was new without tags. A clothes mentor for $17. They were charging $17. I got the money from some items that I went ahead and consigned. So that was great. Consignment stores can be a good place to source from. You just have to kind of really um, go through everything. This is a Citron Santa Monica shirt. Another excellent sale. So for $50 with a 20% off coupon. Women's size large. I think that's how you say it. Or is it Citron? Citron is what I think. Is that a turtle on the tag? I don't know. Maybe it's a flower. Um, this is also 100% silk, sheer, lightweight, floral, very pretty print. So I get that even in the smaller sizes. This is a funny swimsuit cover up. I pick these up every time I see them, especially in the spring, summer. This sold for $23. So it's just like the, like, uh, the graphic print of someone like wearing a bikini. I think they're from like the nineties, but 
This even had a little spot. They still always sell. It's double-sided. So that was just like a fun spring-summer pickup. Next up was this Anthropology Akimi and Kin. This was a kimono that sold for 20, no, $35 with my 20% off coupon. Um, yellow floral open. I don't pick up this brand a ton from Anthropology, but I will sometimes depending on the piece. So kimonos are selling really good for me right now along with the swimsuits. Next up is the brand Oh My Gauze, a good lag and look brand to be on the lookout for. This sold for $25. It was a red in a size extra large, um, just 100% cotton, oversize tunic. So nice sale there. We have a Johnny Was dress, which is amazing. I actually paid, I think, $50 for this at a consignment store. But I looked up the style and I'm like, I think I can sell it for more. And I did. I sold it for $110 or $111. Um, so I'm still making a pretty good profit off of that. I will pay $50 to sell for $111 because most of my items, like when I'm paying $8 and I sell it for $30, I'm not making that much profit. So I will pay up for things in order to make more profit. So this was an excellent style. Maxi dress, really pretty. And it sold extremely quickly. So I'm excited. I got another Johnny Was piece I'm listing here pretty soon. Um, I'm trying to look and see with these sales if I told you guys last week. At least it shows me the time right here because I know when I filmed my What Sold video. Okay, and it was not at 1110. So um, let me go ahead and show you this. A Michael Kors purse that I sold for $65. That was my full asking price. I got this at a local Goodwill. They shockingly did not have it marked up. Most of the time they do. So I was lucky to get this. It came out on a new rack. Um, Michael, Michael Kors, some people still, that doesn't really bother them. So there's my weird measurements. I know those aren't very good pictures, but you know what? It worked. Um, and then I also sold this Brahmin purse. So two purses in one day. This sold for $65 via promoted listings, also a repeat buyer. So that is excellent Brahmin. I love to sell. I just don't find it that much anymore. If it has the full croc, it sells even better with that croc embossed on the bottom. Um, but yeah, otherwise I would still pick it up as long as you can find it for pretty cheap. It also had this horrible ink stains in the inside and it still sold for that price. So that's great for me. Okay. And that is it on eBay. So let's move on to Poshmark and we'll go into these Poshmark sales. Hopefully you guys are liking this video and I hope that my computer is recording this. This is like an experiment. Okay. Poshmark Jessica dress sold for $65. This is a new to me brand. I found it at Goodwill. How do I get to my freaking listing? Oh, here we go. Um, sorry. Size medium. This was new with tags. And it sold for $65, like I said. Here's what the label looks like, if you can see that up there. I just thought it was really cute. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it because I have never seen it. I looked up comps and they were excellent. So really glad I decided to go ahead and grab that. Next up are a pair of R13 jeans. This can definitely be a Bolo brand. So make sure you guys are looking for R13. Um, um, size 27, these sold for $100 on an offer. Um, blue kick fit, they were the Jasper, that was the color. High rise jeans, it usually says it on the back patch or I think it always does. Um, in a size 27, so excellent pair. I'm sorry that I'm cutting this off. I really am gonna try to get better at this, okay guys? We'll see how I can do. I am just learning with all of this screen recording. Next up, a pair of Hoka shoes that I sold for $55. I just listed these Hoka's. They were in a size women's 11. So I accepted an offer. They were getting uh, lots of attention almost right away. Um, they were the Bondi 8, which I heard from somebody else that they're an excellent style. I did go ahead and put these in my washing machine and they turned out great. So I hope that that's not an issue for buyers but I always like to take a picture of the tread on the bottom. People want to see that, especially the runners. So excellent sale there. Next up, we have a marine layer sweater. I tried to wear this for Easter. No, not Easter, St. Patrick's Day, but it looked weird to me. And for the pants I was wearing, it did not work. These, this sold for $34. Um, green in a size small, very oversized. Marine layer is not selling that good for me anymore. So I would not recommend picking up everything you see from them, but you can look up the style really easily right there and you can see what it's going for. This one did have good comps. So I was willing to pick it up and 
that was a good sale. Next up is a J. Crew swimsuit. Um, this sold for $32. It wasn't a size 12. I got this. I don't even remember where I got it. I think I just got it at a Goodwill. Um, ruched. I don't remember if it was new with tags. I don't think it was. So sometimes used swimsuits can still sell pretty good. Still sell pretty good. And I can't speak. So that was good on that. I wish that it would just go right back to where I was. I had to cancel those shorts because it was the same ones that sold on eBay. They sold like almost at the same time on both platforms. Um, Judy Blue, I actually have to cancel these because I realized I don't have them anymore. Um, next up, we have a pair of Spanx leggings. These sold for $35. They were in a size 1X. So these are a pair of 1X, uh, why did I say leather-like high-rise leggings? Maybe that's what they were called with the style name. And I will pick up Spanx in larger sizes. They tend to do better. The smaller sizes, if they're like the trousers or like, the work style pant, like those do okay. But if it's just like the faux leather leggings or the seamless leggings in the smaller sizes, they don't do that good. So that's why I don't get them in smaller normally. Next up was a Masuk jacket in a size medium for $38. I could have got more for this since it was new with tags, but I was not making good sales that day. And it was kind of just basic. It was just more of like, yeah, it was like a cotton. If it would have had like more of their knit style, it also had this little like faded mark. I think I could have got more money for it, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Next up, we have a vintage Disney sweatshirt that I only sold for $9. I did have this one for a while. A men's size small. Um, it had the cute little like Sorcerer Mickey on there with Walt Disney World, but it was kind of like this fleecy jacket, which I don't feel like sells as good as far as, or like compared to if it was more of like a sweatshirt material, but Mm, I don't know. Um, next up is a Harley Davidson shirt that sold for $11. Harley, I feel like used to sell better and it's just not selling as good as it used to. So I will not be getting these. Also, it was a Bravado, um, maybe like collaboration, which I know for a while Bravado was really popular for like the band tees and stuff. But yeah, this was from Graceland, whatever. Glad to get that out of my closet. Next up is a pair of Gilded Intent pants that sold for $5. These are new with tags from the buckle. I've had these forever. I'm like, oh, surely somebody will want these extra large, comfy loungewear sweatpants. No, they don't because this is not a good brand. This is not a trendy brand or a well-known brand. So do not pick up Gilded Intent. Don't make dumb mistakes like me, or I guess you can and you can learn from them. Uh, these low sales are resulting from me sending out 35% off offers on a slow day. I have a Banana Republic shirt in a size small. This had a cute like safari with zebras and elephants print. I thought that would help it sell good. It did not. It sold for $11. Goodbye. Okay, and then we have this Lacoste sweater, another bad sale. <laughs> Women's size medium. I thought it was maybe vintage because of the tag. It did have the alligator logo. When I first started reselling, I feel like this brand was so popular to find that it was like, oh yeah, I could sell for a lot. Not as much anymore. Some stuff still sells for a decent price, but I don't think it sells for as high as it used to. I had to cancel the Eloquy dress. <laughs> You're seeing all my mistakes here. Um, next up is a pair of Universal Standard pants. These sold for $18. Universal Standard does okay for me. These were a smaller size. I feel like they do better in the larger sizes. So it says here extra small, which that is a size 10, 12 for women. They were linen blend, which helped, but yeah, the larger sizes tend to do better for me for universal standard. So I don't know, glad to move them. This is an old Sundance sweater that sold for $9. Tan, um, mohair, wool blend. I don't know if this is an older tag, but I did have this for quite a while. So there it goes for a cheap price. I think that's all with my cheap price things. Yes. Okay, a Grayson sweater. This, I thought it was a women's. I don't know, because it was purple, I guess. But it ended up being a men's, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sell it anyway, because I think I can make good money off of it. And I did, there's what the tag looks like. I think it's like a golf preppy type of brand for men. 100% cashmere, sold for $65 on Poshmark. I was getting a lot of lowball offers for this. So glad I held out, although I didn't have to hold out very long because it sold really fast. Next up was a pair of Judy Blue shorts for $25. I've sold the same exact style before. They are a cherry print. 
in a size medium, high rise, Judy Blue shorts sell just as good as the jeans in my opinion. So I would pick them up anytime I've been listing the shorts recently. They have sold really quickly for me. I did decide to keep one pair for myself. Next up, we have an Eileen Fisher top. This is in a size extra large, sold for $24. Um, I got it because it was linen. So it is a size extra small, but again, smaller sizes with good fabric, I will tend to pick up. So glad to see that one go fairly quickly. A lot of my Eileen Fisher linen sells fast. Both of my Manolo Blahnik heels sold surprisingly fast that I got from a consignment store. These ones sold for $80. They were a size eight with the T-strap. Definitely a more vintage look in my opinion. Leather, a little bit of wear, but again, like I said, they sold extremely quickly. So I was glad for that because I did pay $25 for those at a consignment store. So glad to see them go out pretty quick. Another old item, a pair of old navy pants. These were new with tags in a size 3X. I'm like, oh, these were fairly expensive brand new, right? Somebody will pay like $25 for these. No, they didn't. They sold for 10. Would not do that again. Okay, we have an Ivy Fisher sweater in a size extra large that sold for $27. This was a gray space dye organic linen open cardigan sweater. Um, again, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this, but Eileen Fisher linen is selling so good for me. Like I wish there was a way I could just like go back to where I was. There's some more jeans I had to cancel since I'm not a good seller. Uh, Holding Horses Dress, this is an anthropology brand. I had to sell this for cheaper because it was missing one of the buttons and I did not notice that until I got home. Otherwise, I could have sold this for more. Sold comps on this velvet dress were pretty good, but since it was missing a button, I did have to list it cheaper. Next up, we have the brand The Ragged Priest, which I don't remember where it sold at. I thought it would do better as kind of like a punk goth type of brand. Size 12, brown corduroy, loose fit, baggy pants. Um, only sold for $12, so would not probably pick up that brand again unless I was able to find out the specific piece sold really well. Uh, there are some more Judy Blue shorts I had to cancel. Oh my gosh, I had to cancel so many things on Poshmark this week. Sometimes I'm like so good about like deleting stuff when it sells on eBay and sometimes I'm not. Okay, this was a Hutch jumpsuit. This is an anthropology brand. This was, I think, new with tags, but it had defects. So it was a one shoulder. It did have some staining on the white part, it looks like. Not very much though. Um, Hutch can do really good. I just don't think like, sometimes the jumpsuits aren't the most, I was gonna say desirable, but like easy to sell um, as compared to dresses. Um, next up is a soft surrounding shirt that sold for $15. This was a women's size large. I've had it for like a little bit of amount of time. I thought it was kind of pretty with the embroidery and like the watercolor like floral type design, but somebody sent me an offer of 15 and I was just like, you know what, you can have it. Um, I did have to cancel this Skull Cashmere sweater. The buyer told me that their kid purchased it. And at first I'm like, yeah, right. And I posted on Instagram, but I had some parents messaging me and they're like, for real, that has happened to me before. So again, another instance where whatever, I'm gonna cancel the order. Some people might be like, well, I'm just gonna hurry up and ship it. Like, don't be a jerk, don't be a jerk. It's a good idea, right? Okay, Catherine sweater in a size 4X. This was a navy blue cardigan, three quarter sleeve, sold for $13, nothing special, um, probably because we're out of the season with sweaters and it's not that substantial of a piece. This probably would have done better in the fall winter, but that's okay. I feel like this is making my videos go a lot longer than they normally are, but I'll, I'll cut out some of the dead, like the dead silence. We have a fat face dress, fat face. That's a weird brand, right? Yes, but it sells sometimes. This was a maxi dress in a size 10, black, white, sleeveless. I did use beach, summer, flowy, party in my keywords. And that sold fairly good for a decent price. So I'm happy about that. We have another Catherine shirt. This was another sweater in a size 3X. This one was a space dye, which is kind of like what that fabric is basic just pullover sweater, $20 on that. That's pretty much the average and that's pretty normal for me. For Catherine's sales, we have a Vineyard Vines dress that I actually couldn't find any sold comps on at the thrift store, but 
I got, I got it because I just had like a gut feeling. Vineyard Vines sells better in the spring summer. It was a performance dress. So it was a polyester like spandex blend. It felt kind of like lightweight and comfy. Sold very fast within a day for $29. So glad I listened to my gut on that one. Next, this sold within a couple of hours. Play Comme des Garçons. How do you say this? This sold for $51. It's French, I think. Um, this little heart guy. That's what you look for for this. They also have collaborations with other brands. I've seen them on Converse before and they can do pretty good. So I was excited to pick this up and I was excited that it sold as quickly as it did. I honestly did not expect it to sell that fast. So yay. Um, we have an Ivy and Fisher jacket for $7. This was a very old jacket. It was a cotton jacket. I think I found this in one of my bins that I went through um, that I've had forever. It also had some stains. And so I listed extremely cheap at $10. Someone offered me seven. Okay, a pair of Revice jeans. These are a star print on the butt. Now, if you can find the ones that have it with flare, they do better as far as that. Otherwise, these jeans don't always do that well. But because of this design, I've sold it before. I knew it would sell pretty decent. I decided to grab those and they sold in about, I think, three months. Somebody asked me recently, do you keep track of how long you've had the item? Sorry, no. Okay, wow, holy crap, that was long. If you're still here at the end of the video, put, what should we have at the bottom? Put your favorite emoji in the comments because <laughs> who could last this long? Part of it was because for real, I had a really great sales week. As I was adding up my numbers, I was like, Wow, I did not realize it was that good. And then part of it, I think I was doing a little bit more small talk while I was going through my sales. So I don't know if that's too much. If you guys think it should be shortened down, I can try to go through them a little bit quicker. Um, but I was trying to like show all the pictures and stuff. So I'm like, eh, I'll just, I'll figure out what works though. We'll get through it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.